Whenever I think about Africa, I see the imagery of creative, hardworking and innovative people. We are black and beautiful, we are talented and full of power and strength. Amongst all seven continents in the world, Africa is distinctively unique. We are rich in cultural heritage and diversity. We have a wealth of natural resources. We have super talented and hyper creative individuals who have broken boundaries to show off what we have got to the world at large. I am Dennis Joshua, a Nigerian from Akwaibum State. Yesterday, I was a teacher of Akwaibum State. I was a friend of Akwaibum State. I was a friend of Akwaibum State. I was a friend of Akwaibum State. I'm a multi-talented graphic designer with hyper-creative skills in print designs, and I'm a Nigerian YouTuber. I'm proud to be an African. So today I'll be going on a tour with my team to one of the most famous places in our own part of Africa, in our own territory. So I'll be going on a tour, I'm going to put my team on a call, then we're going to meet somewhere and go on a tour. So I'm going to carry you guys along throughout the journey and in the course of this journey I'm going to tell you about six African creatives who has affected my mindset positively and I think if you follow them they will affect your mindset too. So the likes of Fisayo Fosudo, Ezine, Zara, Kennedy AKZ and so on. These people have affected my lifestyle, my mindset especially towards my finances and success, growth and so on. So I'm going to talk about them in the course of this journey. So let's start the journey. So guys, we are currently at Marina Resort. We want to take a little walk around here and in the process of this walk, I'm going to tell you about 10 creatives that has inspired me, my mindset, and 10 African creatives, especially in Nigeria, that have inspired me a lot. And let's go straight in. This is Harrison. Harrison, <laughs> I have Michael here and uh, Isaac, so we are all in this together, that's my team. Fisayo Fosudo is a visual storyteller and YouTuber. I discovered his YouTube channel in 2020 when he had over 80,000 subscribers. Currently, he has over 400,000 subscribers. This Nigerian tech enthusiast born in Lagos has positively affected my mindset. His success story motivated me to take it upon myself to pursue my passion and make it work. 
Fisayo has broken boundaries as an African to show off his creativity and passion to the world. You can't talk about tech influencers in Africa without mentioning Fisayo Fosudo. He has inspired me to not just get a skill but improve it and not just improve it, add value by showing off your skill to the world. He has made it very clear to me that pursuing your passion as an African is worth it. So I started pursuing my passion and I'm not giving up. Fisayo has expressed his love and passion for art and visually creative things on different occasions. His background knowledge in graphic design made a great way for him to start pursuing his passion. His personality is worthy of emulation, which is one of the reasons I have him at the top of African creatives that has inspired my mindset. Indeed, he has changed my viewpoint towards finances from his Finance Friday videos. His calm approach to creative issues has changed the way I approach creative conditions, present and speak publicly. His content style gets me so engaged every time I watch his videos. I call him the MKBHD of Africa. I wish to meet him one day and say to him, thank you for affecting my mindset. I love Fisayo. In 2021, I listened to a podcast of one of his interviews at the Take Point Award 2021 ceremony where five Take Influencers of the Year made the nomination list. In this podcast, he explained his journey through the difficulties and challenges and how he found light at the end of the tunnel. For me, I felt he was talking directly to me. I do connect so easily with like-minded people and I think Fisayo is one of them. I don't know, I would like to enter into this boat and see how this water looks like. Though I'm scared of water. Mike, are you scared of water? <laughs> are you scared of water? No, I'm not. <laughs> uh, Isaac, would you like to try this out? Not really, sure. I'm actually scared of water, I must say. I'm scared of water, but I'm going to try this out. And we are waiting for the next set so we can go into the island. We want to cross to the other side of the island. We want to cross to the other side of the island and see how it looks like. This water is... <laughs> I don't know what to say, but it's scary. From here, the... it's scary. This Africa, the land that has birthed so many creative and beautiful people, Ezi Nezara, the storyteller on a journey, has made it very clear to me that you can be influential and still find a way to put God first in your career. This makes me remember Minister GUC's song that has this lyric, I'll put you in front, in front of my melody. You are all that matters, you are all that matters. If you take a close look at her channel description, you will see where she wrote, following the way and making him known. The letter H in him is capital, which expresses she is referring to God. This African content creator and storyteller turned my eyes to her direction the day I came across a video where she was talking about her finance journey and how she owns a 30 million naira apartment in Lagos. She makes vlogging kind of content and what connects me so much to her is how she reflects God in her life journey and puts him in front. I remember when I was talking with my friend about how I was participating in the Hallelujah Challenge and 
you know, all the things that I was praying for, I didn't really see them. And this is not to say that the Hallelujah Challenge is not effective because it is. It has been a blessing to me in so many other ways. But in this particular one, I didn't get anything. And I think it was because God was trying to teach me something. God was saying to us, like, the reason why it looks like, oh, every other person is having their prayers answered is because this is literally the one slot God has to catch this person's attention. People might come to God like, oh God, I... I want a job during that two week slot of the hallelujah challenge and God gives you a job and you walk away from him but there's so much more that God wants to give you beyond a job and because your mindset is so myopic because you've not stepped into the mind of God you are robbing yourself of the things that you can get by just seeking. the video I face watch on our channel has changed my financial journey up till today and through her, I have learned that reflecting God in your career and letting him take the lead is very vital for anyone who wants to grow. I may not get to see her in real life, but she has played a role in my life without even noticing. Besides, for me, I don't need to meet with people physically to be inspired by them, but just following them and applying their process can be a great turnaround for me. And why I recognize people like Ezine Zara as people that has affected my life positively is because I found them at a point in my life I needed someone like them. Kennedy AKZ Joseph is the co-founder and CEO of Kipa. Kipa is the bookkeeping app for small businesses in Africa. This young and vibrant entrepreneur has positively impacted my mindset and he has made me believe that success is achievable with hard work and consistency. Kennedy was the first Nigerian recipient of the Yenching Scholarship. He previously worked at Accenture and Byte Dance, where he built TikTok's Africa business strategy, working from the Benji headquarters. He was recognized by Kennedy, Her Majesty Ekezea Queen Elizabeth Joseph. II as a Queen's young leader. He has made me understand that having a positive mindset towards your career pursuit is very vital to achieve success. Kennedy grew up in Calabar and studied in the University of Calabar, Nigeria. I first saw him at the Lord's choosing Cross River State headquarters when he testified about his achievement. That testimony was a great motivation to me. I bowed and prayed to God, I tap into this grace. His bio when he was 19 speaks about him as a budding global leader who constantly seeks to liberate disadvantaged individuals and groups through positive, empathic social activism. Kennedy has also broken boundaries to show the world that Africa has got potentials. My love for success connected me to him and indeed he has been a great inspiration to me. There are a lot to say about him and I will one day. Choose something and go all in. People who dive in headfirst with their skin in the game go the furthest. A ton of people tend to preserve optionality across different areas of their lives and have never really gone all in on anything because of fear. And I've experienced this personally in my own life. The fear of failure, the fear of financial insecurity, the fear of public ridicule. But you honestly cannot say you've lived life fully if you've not gone all in on something. And the most important way to do this is to artificially create systems around you that allow you to go all in. Before my 
co-founders and I started building Kepa. I had just moved back to Nigeria from Beijing, where I'd lived for two years. It was a no-brainer at the time that everyone building in tech was in Lagos. But we knew it wasn't right for us. We needed to create a system that allowed us to maximize focus, go all in, and figure things out. So we moved to Uyo in Akwaibom State, and we lived there for 14 months. We went away from our friends, from our families, and most things that would trigger any fears in us, and we went all in. And I know many people who have done similar things. It's easier to become someone who can go all in when you're in your 20s and have nothing to lose. But you can do this at any point in your life. Going all in allows you to figure out what your limits are and that builds the resilience you need to navigate the difficulty of life. I promise you'll not drown. Just dive. I want to fly high at which I can reach the same height he is flying and at the same frequency. I love Kennedy. God bless and keep him. You've probably seen the beautiful and creative works of art done by Frank, but you don't know he is the designer behind the creativity. Ozoma is an award-winning graphics artist with seven years of experience in the industry. One thing that connected me to him so much is the fact that he was able to discover the abilities he naturally possessed and develop it purposefully. He took his time to perfect his skills and to understand the nitty-gritty of the job. He addressed himself as a product of grass to grace in one of his interviews. Frank is popularly known as Rex Posters on Instagram. I discovered him a few years ago and since then, his designs has affected my mindset as a graphic designer. I love his design style and how committed he is to his job. He said he wasn't inspired to do what he is doing today because of a need to compete with anyone. Rather, his motivation was to develop his talent and contribute his quota to the development of other people's creative work. I must say I am a product of his contribution. I have said this and I will still say again. I don't have to meet with people physically to gain inspiration or motivation from them. I have been impacted by countless individuals in Africa and in other parts of the world without them even knowing I exist. I celebrate Franklin's success and achievement. I have learned from him that no matter how talented you are, you still need to nurture your creative skills by aware of training in a formal setting so you can be well groomed and also acquire abilities to face challenges and overcome them. So this is me saying creatives with super potentials and ambitions are here in Africa. Innocent K. Boateng is a Ghanaian freelance graphic designer and a YouTuber. I discovered him in 2020 when I started my YouTube channel and trust me, Sir Innocent has so much amazing personality. When I wanted to start my YouTube channel, I was inspired by his videos. His success on YouTube motivated me to start and it gave me hope. I was sure that since he has made it work, that the possibilities of achieving success on YouTube is at a high frequency. My first 10 videos or thereabouts was inspired by him. I literally did those videos following his style of content until I discovered my own style and focused on mine since it's always good to build a unique personality on social media instead of being someone else. 
This African creator has broken boundaries to show off his skills and passion as a graphic designer to the world. I love Sir Innocent. I love his work and I celebrate him as an African creative. Okay, Chief Harrison. <laughs> See, this is our project manager. Okay, Harrison. Uh, um, how does it feel like to be an African man? What What makes you feel happy being an African man? <laughs> okay, um, the most beautiful thing about being an African is that um, I feel like uh, being an African is to be natural and then you get to see breath of nature and then uh, you see you have to see the uniqueness and the beauty of what God has deposited into each and every Africa. And then uh, looking around me you can see how beautiful the nature landscape is and the uh, beautiful landscape uh, everything about it is just simply beautiful and then uh, I don't love being African right from our food, our way of life, our lifestyle, everything about us is just unique and then uh, so beautiful. I love being an African. I'm proud to be an African. I'm very proud of The last but not the least is Manuel San Cata. A hyper creative and multi talented brand identity and web designer. Manuel Sanketa is the CEO of Kata Graphics and Business, a renowned design studio in Nigeria. Few years ago, I came in contact with him when I was searching for someone I can place as my roots. I have said it time and time again I am a self taught graphic designer without any roots. That is to say, I had no one to guide me in the industry, but I found my way around the industry through hard work, sleepless nights, consistency, and commitment. I decided to make Kata my roots as a graphic designer. Now I can call him my father in the industry. He is vibrant and full of wisdom. His passion and love for what he does gave me another meaning of commitment. I learned to stay committed to my work and value what I do through him. In 2022, he inspired me to start my graphic design business full time and he assured me with faith that I'm not going to regret it. Today I'm seeing his words come to pass. The first day I officially launched my business in Calabar, he made some declarations to me. He said the business will grow to a point where we will have a separate school for students. Today it happened. He has inspired me so much. Sometimes I wonder how God has blessed Africa with so much creative, passionate and hardworking people. Manuel Sanketa is not left out. He has also broken boundaries to show to the world that Africans has got talent and potentials. He launched his high quality web design course in 2022 and has taught thousands of students. I may not have gotten a formal training directly from him, but learning by following his footprint has been a great turnaround for me. Thank you so much, Manuel Sanketa. Okay, so we are off the boat and this place, we want to do a little tour here, according to what we heard, this is the first place Mary Stazon landed when she came to Nigeria, right? <laughs> Calabar, when she came to Calabar, this is the first place she, she landed. So, somebody will be taking us around this place to show us some live animals and so many other things. Just pull along with us. <laughs> Wait, I'm scared of this place. Are you ready? Yes. 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 Y
Here, Mary Slezo, who arrived in 1878 as a missionary from the United Free Church of Scotland, fought against the killing of twins in infancy. During that time, the tribe of this region believed that twins were a result of a cause. They believe one of the children was fathered by an evil spirit. Mary Slezor educated people that these beliefs were not true and risked her life to rescue twins. She hid the twins on this island, now called Twin Island. This land is owned by the descendants of those rescued and orphaned. Yeah. Isaac J. Yeah. How <laughs> 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 um, yeah, about you know Yeah, I'm Jeff. Rastaman. Um, Rastaman Jeff. 